work begins to install solar panels on the King's Cross 10 estate, run by Peabody Housing. Similar installations have doubled over the past five months as estates race to complete work by December the 12th. From that date, the government has just announced that it will half the subsidies it gives out for installing renewable energy. But for some estate residents, like Manon, the sudden arrival of scaffolding is not welcome news. I think it's going to be really noisy because we ever have some uh, works building out there and it's ever really noisy and if we have some other here, it's going to be a real mess in the residence. <laughs> Wells Chimatari is the housing manager of this estate. We've had to squeeze in the, the project within a short space of time. So we basically have a lot of people running around trying to get uh, to, to, to get the, uh, the installation completed. And certainly it is uh, uh, difficult for our residents. Normally they're used to uh, getting a bit of uh, more time in terms of um, being prepared for such projects. I contacted the Department for Energy and Climate Change to ask them about the disruption their change in plans is having. They wouldn't talk to us, but they did give us this statement. Changes are vital if we are to ensure a lasting fit scheme. It's up to local housing authorities what measures they introduce in response. But for Manon and her fellow residents, there's no benefit for now. The changes only mean a month of disruption ahead.